All right, it is time for MST3 A to Z. Now, this is the part of the show where we are looking back at every movie featured on Mystery Science Theater 3000 in alphabetical order, which brings us to Carnival Magic. This is uh, an episode from the new uh, Netflix revival of the series, which I enjoyed a great deal. And this is, in many ways, the sore thumb movie of the group. It is maybe the most, not necessarily the best episode, but certainly the most memorable movie because it is gross. <laughs> this is a movie about a talking monkey at a carnival that is fairly ineptly and low budgetly produced um, to a, a degree that it really, it's a very skeevy and greasy looking and feeling movie. Everybody in the movie is very uncomfortable. The whole thing seems disturbing and exploitive. And a lot of that comes down to this talking monkey, wherein it's not like his mouth moves or anything. They just, you know, sort of record a voice over it, and they've chosen a really weird and creepy voice for it. It doesn't help that the monkey trainer magician guy is pretty creepy. It's a creepy movie. Now, I've reviewed this movie on the show before, um, before we started this particular experiment, and I, I believe I gave it a half star. I am upgrading the rankings of the movie only because Watching it this time, I did feel like it was less soulless than I had previously given it credit for. This is not a movie that I think is necessarily a cash grab, it is, as much as it is a movie made by a group of people who really wanted to make a movie but don't know what they're doing and unfortunately made something kind of gross and creepy. So is it a good movie? No, but it is maybe not as bad a movie as I had called it before, so I'm going to give it one star.